Hey everybody, uh, unlike last week, I've got a little mail to show off here on Wednesday. Still a little bit of a slow week, but a lot better than last week so far. I've got three TTMs and some purchases to show off, so uh, I guess we'll get right into this. Uh, my first success is a 3 of 3 in 10 days from a 2004 postseason legend, uh, Brandon Backey. Signed this uh, 2002 Donruss Diamond King rookie card on the Devil Rays here. Um, beautiful card, beautiful signature. Uh, he was not that great of a pitcher in the regular season. His numbers weren't very good. But uh, in big games, he was uh, practically unhittable. He was one of the best postseason pitchers ever. And then uh, I got him on uh, this rookie card, which, of course, is uh, 89 Upper Deck design. This is out of the 2002 Upper Deck set. And then, uh, of course, everybody remembers him most first time with the Astros on the 2006 tops here. Unfortunately, his career ended early. Uh, he was a victim of police brutality. And uh, suffered a bad shoulder injury, which ended his ended his career, unfortunately. All righty, next is a one of one in twenty four days. This person does charge five dollars per. We've got Steve Braun, one of the original Mariners. It's a little harder to make out the picture here in uh, the video, but it's a little clearer in person. But I thought it was a really good photograph. Uh, sometimes these black and whites look really good. But uh, this one turned out really great. I guess I can just leave these out here, you know. And keep looking at them. Alright, and the final one, which I just picked up now. And so I decided to do a late video. So I got three TTMs. I figured I might as well make a video. But it's a 3 of 3 in 293 days. From a former top prospect of the Mariners, who just never quite worked out, we've got Mr. Roger Salkeld. Signed my 95 Fleer. It's in black, unfortunately, but uh, that is a nice, nice marker. Signed that, and then he signed this uh, 92 Tops Magazine card. So I thought that looked really cool. And my 94 tops. Which is a set that I really like. Alright, that is, that's all the TTMs. I guess I can show you some purchases. Uh, first two, I got a couple unsigned purchases. First one is a 1988 rookie of Bone. J. Bone, or J. Buhner. Uh, his uh, 88 Classic. Um, I don't remember if he had a rookie in a, a Don Russ set. I don't think he did. But I think this is his only Mariner, or rookie card as a Mariner, because his uh, Tops rookie card in 88 Tops traded. He's a Yankee. So, and I actually just recently discovered this card. I did not know about it. So, happy to pick that up. It's a pretty good looking card. And the other one, this one's going to be going out and getting some ink on it. But uh, I got Billy Butler, Country Breakfast Rookie Card, 2005 Tops. Uh, one of my all-time favorite players. And uh, he's uh, been signing through the mail really well for a while. I got him once a while back. Unfortunately, he's signing with kind of a crappy black Sharpie. So, I will be sending him a... Brand new blue Sharpie. And I look forward to getting some more Country Breakfast autos in my collection. Alright, next. is uh, These are signed purchases. So, first off, I've got a 2007 Brandon Morrow Bowman. A lot of potential there. I was really excited about him. Uh, next, we've got... 
James Pazos, who was a great relief pitcher for the Mariners. He did not spend much time in Seattle, though, and uh, he's been with the Dodgers for a while, spent time with the Rockies and Yankees, but it was great for the Mariners. Uh, next, uh, I got this uh, Brian Bannister. Had to pick this up because he's just got one of the best autos ever. And you all know I like my 06 Tops. 06 Tops is a really great set because uh, it's got a lot of uh, great... Uh, it, it's just the time period because a lot of the guys from the late 80s, early 90s are winded on their careers. And uh, so they still had cards in this set. And then, but then there's a lot of guys that are big name now that were just starting out at the time then. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds in the 06 top set. I really enjoy it. Uh, I got uh, Brad Miller, Crazy Legs on the 2015 tops. Adam Moore on the 2011 tops. Henry Cotto Salami, 92 Don Russ. And here's one for my uh, PC. We got uh, Casey Blake, the 2008 Tops Opening Day. Big Casey Blake fan. Of course, he's a fellow Iowan. Uh, he used to be on uh, uh, local cable commercials for the small cable companies around the area. So I've always been a big Casey Blake fan. So I had to pick this up. I think it was only two dollars. The card alone is probably I don't know. It's not numbered. Anyways, I'm happy to have it. And then here's a big one. Uh, this one, uh, somebody got this signed at private signing or at the spring training this year. And I was able to pick it up, but I got Yusei Kikuchi on the 2022 Tops Heritage. So uh, I'm actually pretty glad that he's gone. <laughs> I was not a Kikuchi fan at all, but I'm very happy to have one of his autos in my collection. So that is it so far this week. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope to be back on Saturday with some more mail to show off. So uh, see you then.